and I know what you just thought. Huh? Me and my bitch go naughty. Give a fuck about this. This is just who you are, Kirk Franklin. I get that when you're doing music that you want to stay relevant, that you want to, you know, stay in the public eye. Because, again, the more people that remember you, think about you, they'll buy your album and so forth. And when you're a Christian artist, maybe it's a little bit difficult, but that's fine. You're supposed to be glorifying God. In this case, though, Kirk Franklin is not. He is doing so with maybe one hand on uh, the Bible and everything else about him clutching and holding on to the world. Is there anyone out there that knows you can never pay God back? So he's doing this little compilation or this little deal with this combination with this lady named Glorilla. I think her real name is Gloria or Gloria. I'm not sure. And so he's trying to appeal or appease to other, another set of people. Truth be told, Kirk, it's, it's as though that's really your audience, not so much the Christian community. Glorilla just dropped, mm -hmm. you know, you on that song. And can you kind of just dive into like your place and in, 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 in when these young uh, hip hop artists and these young artists come to you and you know you guys collab and work together it's it's still something i guess i'm trying to figure out really yeah 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 you know you know and i'm just always you know grateful that people want to work with me you mm. know you know if, if, if i could say that you know the the question is why do why does everyone want to work with you and why does it seem like it's the worldly people also people who are not believers or seem like they're not believers why does it seem like they want to work with you i'm always appreciative i'm, mm. I'm always appreciative and you know i'm always trying to figure out when when I'm invited, what I can contribute to, and what what do I lend to the moment? Um, it shouldn't be that difficult to figure out what you should contribute to or what you should lend to. Well, the gospel. When you see someone who isn't even saved or looks like they're saved, well, what should be the first thing if they invite you in? Well, then let them invite all of you in. There's a reason why the most godly folks don't get invited into some of these people, but people like you do. These are the kind of people that find themselves at Diddy parties because the people of the world feel comfortable. Think about this. When the people of the world feel comfortable about you, that says a lot about you, not them. That that can either elevate it or inspire it. Lane of idea, consciousness, mm. of, of conversation. And so, you know, just, just always trying to figure that out. There's not one set um, response that I'm going to give everyone, you know, because there may be invitations that I'm not able to deliver something that is going to contribute something beneficial. Mm. And if I'm not able to, then I don't want to be in the way. So notice how he says, if I'm not able to really contribute, um, but what about not wanting to contribute? That's the bigger issue. I don't see where I might be able to help. No, I can't help. I can't. How about turning something, thing, certain things down? You know what? what you're doing, how you are. I just cannot be a part of what you do. I love you. I'll pray for you in every other way, but I will not be a part of this. Remember the Bible says, what fellowship has light with darkness? Uh, but you don't seem to get that, Kirk. You want to be whatever you can be to stay relevant to whoever it is you want to be relevant to without really bringing the gospel. But let's look at who this person is, this young lady, who he is doing this collaboration with. Now, that's her. I obviously had to blur some things out. Um, she's got a little backside out. She wants to show her body. That's who she is. And she'll tell you, listen to her, she'll tell you, this is who I am. This is who Kirk Franklin wants to do a collaboration with or is doing a collaboration with. Do you feel like there's a difference between Glow and Gloria? <laughs> how I feel like it's not a difference at all. <laughs> Me either. Like, like I feel God. like how you rap and what you rap about, that's your real life. Like, yes, you be like I, just like this turn all the time. Yes, like I literally don't, like what I rap about is literally me. Like I don't got no, oh, okay, I'm finna hang Glorilla up and go be glow and go be a good girl. Like, no, I'm just me. Like, I've, that's one of the things I really like about you. Like, cause it's very hard to meet a real person. She said, that's just me. That's who she is. And I don't, I guess the other lady, I'm not who she, who, sure who she is, but I guess the other lady is a rapper or, or entertainer. I'm not sure. But can I just say all this? Uh, there needs to be some standards, obviously just in womanhood. And these two ladies seem to be lacking that. Want to have everything out showing, um, sexualize themselves. Uh, and then just really just a bad hold of the English grammar, English language. And that's just not that's just not good. It's not becoming of a lady. And I, I know she speaks about having a child. So 
You have, you have to be an example. As a matter of fact, what does the Bible say about being an example, even for Kirk or someone else? The Bible, let's pull up two passages uh, in 1 Timothy 4, 2 says, let no one look down on your youthfulness, but rather in speech, conduct, love, faith, and purity, show yourself to, as an example to those who believe, Kirk Franklin. And then also Titus 2, 7, he says, in all things, show yourself to be an example of good deed with purity in doctrine, dignify. What you're doing, Kirk, is not an example. Certainly what she's doing is not a good example. Thank you, Lord. You didn't have to do it, but you did. That's why I thank you, Lord. It could have been worse than what it was. So she says, thank you, Lord. You didn't have to do it, but you did. Well, let's just be clear. And he, this is where he has to tell her, no, the Lord, the Lord didn't do any of these things. The Lord is not in what you're doing. If you want to come to him, if you want to place your faith in him, I can, I can help. I can give you the gospel. But clearly that's not happening because you think about it. All the people that Kirk Franklin has been involved with, that you turn around and watch their lives after some sort of collaboration, their lives haven't gotten better, at least outwardly, and there should be something. This is when, Je when John says to the uh, to the Pharisees or really anyone else, what fruits or what deeds or what fruits of repentance do you show? In other words, can we actually see? Because you should be able to see something, especially if you're so far off the beaten path. It should be something, not just your words. Now, can we always tell about people's fruit? No, it's sometimes it's just it's just difficult to see somebody's growth. But somebody somewhere should see something. And some of the people that you've been involved, people should know that, hey, that person was involved with Kirk Franklin and their lives have changed for the better. The problem is, though, they haven't changed. They're not coming to uh, the Lord's side. It's that Kirk, who's supposed to be representing the Lord, is going to their side. The Bible says, I urge you to present yourselves as a living sacrifice, not just to sacrifice yourself for the world and not to be conformed to this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind so that you may prove what the will of God is, that which is good, acceptable and perfect. That's not what we're seeing. Or that's not what we're getting out of the world. Instead, Kirk seems to have a love for the world. As a matter of fact, he seems to promote that. That way, people who are worldly can still be in the world and maybe profess in a false way that they love the Lord. I love God while they're doing these other things, while they're shaking their bodies and showing this out. That's the problem here. And so, Kirk, you are doing not just a disservice. You are literally acting as though you are on Team Satan because you can come as an angel of light. They can come as an angel of light. They, and you, they can make you feel like, yeah, I, I love the Lord while I'm shaking this and doing that and, and all these different things and, and showing my body and acting this way. The lowest things, the most degrading things in life. I can be a part of that. And still, when I need to, I can turn on the Christianity or I can turn on the hood. I can turn on the, uh, the sexualized person. I can turn into the liar, the thief, the what have you. And still, when I need to pick up God. That's not how this works. And Kirk Franklin is telling them that is how it works. Kirk Franklin is letting people believe that you can live like a hypocrite and still go to heaven. That will never work.